Okay, y'all, so I just filmed another video and now we're filming another one because the news has been out. Joshua, Joshua has made a song and he has put it out about our girl Olivia Rodrigo. Now, y'all know I love Olivia very much, I do. And I also believe there's two sides to every story and I do believe hearing both sides. So this is why I'm doing a reaction to Joshua Bennett. It's not about picking sides, that's not what we're doing here, okay? We are just listening to Joshua's experience because it's obviously a song about Olivia. That's what happens. This triangle of Sabrina, Olivia, Joshua, it's what happens. Okay, so latest release. Oh, so there's three songs. Crisis, Secret, and Set Me Free. Damn. Are we gonna listen to all three? I guess we have to. Well, let's listen to the first one called Crisis. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't want to write this Don't know if I can Still holding back Still want to run And if you get to tell your truth Then so do I And it's cool If you want me to play the bad guy But don't you dare The crisis. Tea. Mama called cause she heard I got the threats. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? The one who left in the first place. Weren't you the one who called things off? Was it an act to love me or an act to hate me? Don't you dare act like I did. Y'all, that was some hot tea in that song. Oh my goodness. See, like, I don't know. I know that they were actually in love. I know that they were a real couple. But I'm like, is this for the media or is this true? Because I need to know. I just want to sit both them down and be like, guys, we need to have a chat. I also think it's so crazy that they sing these songs, they dated, had this breakup, and then they have to act together in their show. Can you imagine you're like singing a song about your ex? like literally breaking your heart and then you have to act with that oh my goodness okay next song is called secret Do you drive as much as the first one i feel like the first one was more honest this was just like a pop song um i definitely like the first one better okay this is the last one called set me free oh it's explicit as well let's listen <gasps> love a piano start i don't know what i did to deserve all this i don't want to be rude but i'm the defensive but i've been going through it too Take 
that was a whole ass song right there. Oh, I think his voice goes so well in that song. Like, I think he sounds great in the first and second one. I think they were great. I think it goes Set Me Free, Crisis. See, I don't even remember the second one. What was the second one? Uh, hold on. We have technical difficulties. Secret. I think Secret was my least favorite, but I really liked how he, how he sounded in that. That was so great. And that song took us places, and that's what I love. Wow, y'all, the tea. The tea. I feel like this is gonna be a back and forth thing going on, but, ah. Uh, I think when it comes to music with celebrities, and I know this happened with Justin and Selena, it always happens with couples, I don't like to get so involved into their relationship, because at the end of the day, they have their relationship that we know nothing about. We know nothing about. We hear these songs. We had no idea about Josh's side. It's not something that we have to get so invested in when we're like, oh, F Joshua, we're not listening to his music. It's like, at the end of the day, they're all artists. They all are going through everyday life. So we're not gonna just judge him off of like, oh, uh, what, did you hear Favorite Crime? That one's about Josh. We are not listening to him. It's like, okay, we can separate the artists and like just enjoy both their music without having to be like, oh, we're only Team Olivia. I understand, especially in stan culture, trust me, I get it. I was a insane stan believer. I understand being like, no, we only stick to our stan and we only support them, but Things like this where it's like, this is just an artist expressing their feelings and how they felt. Uh, and I feel bad because, I don't know, it just makes you realize like, this poor kid, <laughs> obviously with Olivia's success, like, he must have gotten a ton of hate. Oh my goodness. He even said like, you know, he was getting death threats. And I feel like that is always a big no. If you are a fan or a stan, and I know you're watching this, you are a hardcore stan of whatever celebrity you love, never get to the point where you are like getting so upset over something that has nothing to do with you or your business. I'm a big fan of Justin, but I'm not as like stan crazy as I used to be because I used to be so invested in everything he did. Oh, Selena did this. Oh, this ex did this. And it like affected me so hard. And I would like go so hard if anyone ever like said anything. And it's like, yes, we must support our artists that we love, but also just don't hate like just love your artists you don't have to hate all these other people just because they were in their lives and now they're not anymore just let people live okay guys we don't need to be bringing people down we just need to uplift our artists that we love as long as y'all are supporting them you're good that's all you need to do you bashing on their ex is not supporting them that's just bringing another human down so i think we all need to like realize that you know let's support and support Sometimes it's taken too far and death threats and all these hate this person, hate this person starts and it just becomes very toxic for something that's not, again, our drama. But I do think it's brave of him to be putting out a song like this with the big success of Olivia for him to do this. I think also it's smart marketing wise because here we are listening to it. But wow, I mean, I think he's a really talented guy. I do. I never really listened to him before, but damn. Go off, Josh. Let me know what y'all thought in the comments down below. If you want to stay updated with me, my TikTok and Instagram is Tandon underscore Rebecca. My Twitter is Tandon Rebecca. And my email is Rebecca at TandonTalk.com. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye!